Boy, do I have a slimy treat for you guys today. I'm Coyote Peterson, and this is the Banana Slug. The California coast is home to one of nature's most epic giants, the Coast Redwood. Rooted like skyscrapers across Northern California, these beautiful works of nature have existed on the planet for over 20 million years. However, the real encounter we were looking to... Man, this tree is absolutely enormous. It's crazy how big these trees are. Unbelievable. Have was with one of the most top you will realize that the forest floor is alive with some very interesting looking creatures. As we quickly <clears throat> and as we quick such a rich ecosystem down here in the redwood forest. Look at that little guy. How pretty is that? Uh, newts have a drier skin and they're usually found on land. They will go into the water, but unlike salamanders, they uh require less moisture to survive. Quickly navigated downstream, we eventually came upon a pocket of water that was absolutely swimming with them. And as we quickly navigated downstream, we have on a pocket of water that was absolutely swimming with them. I can never recommend I can never recommend getting hands-on with any poisonous plant. Yeah, it's not too moist out here. I thought we'd find more. Oh, right there. Ha! There it is. Look at that. Okay, he's tucking back into that hole. This is exactly what we were hoping to come across, but it's real dry up in this part of the forest. Uh, it was literally before the camera came out, I was talking about how we weren't really seeing any slugs. Just caught this out of the corner of my eye. Um, shoot, he is disappearing back into his hole. I'm gonna have to be very gentle getting him out of there. Come here, buddy. Oh, look at that. There he is. That is the banana slug. All right, let's get him down here into the light so that we can get a better look at him. <laughs> I'm so glad we came across one of these guys. I was just saying before we had the cameras rolling that it's so dry out here, I didn't think we'd come across one today. Now this is the banana slug, and I'm pretty sure that it's a California banana slug. There's also the Pacific banana slugs that are out here in these forests, but the Pacific ones usually have real dark blotches and they look like a rotten banana, and this guy just looks pretty much like a perfectly ripe banana. And that's how they get their name, this bright coloration, which was really easy for me to detect. Just as I was walking past the tree there, popped out to me, I was like, holy cow, there's one right on the side of that tree. And what you see here, these tentacles that are sticking up, these top two are called the eye stalks. And that's how when they're out in the environment, they can sense light, they can sense movement. And these bottom two tentacles here, those stalks allow them to sense chemicals that are on the ground. This helps them find their food, helps them follow their trails throughout the forest. These are pretty high-tech little animals. He is unbelievably sticky. Look at this slime. And these slugs are covered in a real thick mucus, which prevents them from dehydrating out here in the forest. And this is like the nastiest snot you can possibly imagine. It's almost like melted marshmallow sticking your fingers together. Now, it doesn't really smell like anything, but he is getting stickiness all over my hand. Oh, he's like glued to the side of my finger. And look at what a cool design the body of this animal has. And these guys are pretty speedy. They move at about six feet a minute. So it's not exactly a tough one to catch like a lizard or a snake. And one really interesting feature, if I can, can you see him okay like that? Yeah. You see that little hole on the side of his body there? That is the slug's lung. That's called a neostome, and this is how this guy is taking in his oxygen and breathing. Kind of be like us having a hole on the front of our body and being able to breathe through it, just like we have nostrils. I would consider this a pretty good sized slug. They can grow quite a bit bigger, almost 10 inches in length, and this is the second largest slug species on the planet. So cool. Now I'm used to seeing the little garden slugs in my backyard, you know, the guys that are about this big. But I bet fully stretched out, this guy is close to five or six inches. 
Oh, what an awesome experience getting slimed by a banana slug. You, you really got it. Dude, my hands oh. are like, they are glued together right now. And this uh, this slug slime, it's a scent trail. So he pretty much marked me. Uh, other slugs might come after me at some point, but we're gonna get him back up on his tree and keep hiking here in the Redwood Forest. I'm pretty sure this is the California banana slug because it's completely yellow. The Pacific version has dark brown and black blotches. If we got any slug experts out there, why don't you tell us which one you think it is? I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Coming this holiday season to a neighborhood mailbox near you, the Brave Wilderness Chance Elves will be delivering the one and only Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit. So if you've been staring out your front window with eyes wide and full of wonder, waiting for the day when something will show up for you and not your parents, this holiday season, all your wildest dreams are about to come true. The Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit is now available, and this subscription box is cooler than any other subscription box in the history of subscription boxes. For all the important details that your parents probably want to know, and to learn what's inside the box that makes it so cool, click on the link in the video description below. And happy holidays from our pack to your pack. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I got into a pinch with another West Coast creature, the Purple Shore Crab. And don't forget, subscribe, then click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.